Hello, hello, boys and girls. This is Adesil, of course, and welcome back to some Battlefield 4 gameplay. We got some uh, second assault gameplay here from Metro and the Gulf of Oman with all of the unlockable weapons from the second assault DLC. First off, showing the Ghoul Magnum. You can see this weapon in Bad Company 2. I don't know if it's been featured in any other Battlefield games because I only played 1942, Vietnam, uh, Bad Company 2, Battlefield 3, and Battlefield 4. I never played Bad Company or Battlefield 2, so I have no clue if it's featured there, but honestly, this sniper, oh, it, it just, it just cups my balls and strokes my penis easily, that's all I gotta say about it, <laughs> it is just great, the only drawback with this sniper rifle is the low magazine count, you only have 6 bullets in the gun with 1 in the chamber and 5 in the magazine of course, other than that, this gun is amazingly nice, I mean like, I'm so happy with how they made it, it's really quick reload time, it has a really quick chambering of another round, it also has very little bullet drops so you can easily get those headshots you're looking for even at longer range, and it's just a, an excellent all around weapon to be honest, it's just so damn great. I definitely recommend you using the sniper rifle, uh, if anything this is gonna be one of my absolute favorite sniper rifles in Battlefield 4, depending on if they come out with anything any better, but right now this is definitely my favorite all around sniper rifle. The, uh, the M40 A5, <laughs> you can eat my fucking chai set. <laughs> I'm not gonna be playing with that anymore, that's for sure. This one is just great. Uh, I just wish it had a little bit more rounds in it, that's the only thing about it. Uh, so, uh, we also have some more guns. Uh, we got the F2000 that you're gonna see now in a second. The F2000 is a high rate of fire assault weapon for the medic, of course. And uh, you got the standard 31 rounds with one in the chamber. It reloads in a decent time, both empty and full. And it uh, benefits from nice hip firing thanks to being a bullpup design. It comes with this nifty built-in scope uh, that I think most F2000 uh, weapons actually come with stock from the factory. It's 1.4 magnification, so it's not that magnifying, so you can easily use it in a lot of situations, both close and medium range, and that's kind of where this weapon shines. You can basically just hose down the enemies, even if they're like 50 meters away, 50 yards away, you can still just hose them down fully automatic, as long as you're decent with uh, like holding down the recoil and just get tons and tons of kills. Uh, definitely a really nice weapon worth unlocking and playing around with without a doubt. You might have noticed me not playing that much Battlefield 4 any longer. Uh, there's a good reason for it. I think I mentioned it quite a lot before but I, I just want to like mention it again so people kind of understand. Battlefield 4 is definitely the best multiplayer game out there ever it, but sadly it, it's fundamentally broken in like some incredibly important parts. I mean the game looks great it, it's just amazing sweet, the map designs are awesome, the sounds are awesome, the guns are awesome, player models are awesome, everything is good except for like where, where it absolutely counts if you know what I mean. Uh, when it comes to hitboxes, when it comes to net coding and also the extreme suppression effect added has kind of made me not love the game as much. It's kind of like having a Ferrari that's missing a tire or missing an engine. I mean like it looks great, it sounds great, but you can't really drive it like you want to if you know what I mean. So, so no offense, like, I know a lot of you might be Battlefield fanboys, I'm, I'm a fan of gaming, I'm a fan of gaming, and when a game is broken, and I'm not enjoying it, I, I, I just can't, I just can't play it that much, so I'm, I'm sorry I haven't put up that much Battlefield videos, but if they ever fix it, trust me, I'm gonna be back to making, like, a Battlefield video every single day, like, a, like I used to with Battlefield 3 before the, with, before the suppression patch came in. So this is the M60, uh, I think E4, uh, really low rate of fire, the, the biggest bad thing about it is the low rate of fire, but if you tap fire it, shoot just one bullet at a time, uh, do the nice clickety clickety click uh, with, with your button, it is just great, I gotta say, without a, a single doubt in my mind, so I definitely recommend playing a, playing around with it and unlocking it, it's definitely a good uh, good weapon, I, I think yeah, pulling up with a, with a tripod or something like that is, is just gonna make this a great support weapon. Uh, then we have of course the AS Val. Uh, or the va valve? Val? Val? I think it's AS Val. You got 21 rounds in the magazine, quick reload, high rate of fire, and automatically suppressed, built-in suppressor. 
but I gotta say it kind of sucks. Uh, I definitely like the AS Val better in the Battlefield 3. It kind of feels like it has a little bit too much bullet spread and a little bit too much recoil. And now in Battlefield 3, the bullets kind of jump around a lot. And I find myself most of the time, even though I'm a decent aimer, I mean, I'm not a bad Battlefield player, you know me. Uh, I find myself emptying out a whole magazine and not killing people sometimes. And, and some most of the time, of course, killing one guy, but not being able to kill the second guy because I don't have enough bullets left in it. So AS Val. Uh, unlock this weapon lost, I would say. Definitely unlock it lost because you're gonna have more fun with other weapons you can actually unlock in the in the second assault DLC. Uh, then we have the oh god, I don't even remember the name of it now. The Dow 12. Uh, gonna coming up some gameplay footage of that uh, right now. And the Dow 12 is just a freaking wrecking ball. I mean, like, this is literally the weapon you want to pull out, run into a room and just kill four or six dudes at the same time. I mean, if you get behind the enemy with this puppy, I mean, you are gonna wreck faces. Uh, it is just incredibly good. Uh, the biggest good things about it is excellent damage output. I mean, it, I think you can kill most people inside, like, a room length, so to say, like, five meters or five yards with two hits only. So you can potentially kill six people with one magazine. There's not many guns you can do that in Battlefield and still survive yourself. But the issue is, like you can see here by the reloading, reloading every single bullet in the DAO basically takes you 12 seconds because it takes a second per bullet to reload. So if you miss your shots and you end up running out of ammo, you better have a good sidearm because you're not gonna have time to reload this thing. I mean, like you might get one or two bullets in, but in the same time as you get two bullets into your DAO 12, the enemy has reloaded a full 30 round magazine in his assault rifle. The DAO 12 definitely sucks when it comes to reloading speed, but when it comes to the magazine size, the damage and the rate of fire, it is just a really good gun. So what do I got to say about the second assault DLC? I gotta say the maps are really well made, they look sweet, they play out pretty well. Uh, of course that is not a big surprise since they all were in Battlefield 3, so they kind of should do that. Uh, but overall I think it's a fun DLC, I just hope they fix the rest of the game, the most important parts, soon so I can get back to playing a lot of Battlefield 4. As usual, thank you guys for watching, have a wonderful day, bye bye.